Hello everyone, in today's video uh, we're going to be continuing our DCS uh, zero days kind of a thing and we're going to be taking a look at air to ground weapons on the F-16. So as it stands right now, I'm just uh, finishing up our little loadout here, making sure everything looks good. We have a bunch of Mark 82s and we've also added this other weird little magic box here. This is called a TGP. Uh, this is definitely one of those things that gets a little involved as far as the way it handles, but for our purposes it's actually going to work pretty simply. So in our particular scenario here, we've kept it nice and easy. Uh, we're basically going to be knocking a bridge here at Steer Point 2. Uh, it's going to be right here in the middle of Gory using traditional good old-fashioned non-smart bombs. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, pop over to the simulator and uh, give it a try. Now the F-16, I will say, is uh, one of the better air-to-ground platforms. It's extremely stable in turbulence. It's very, very easy to handle. Ugh, we are heavy now. And <laughs> look at the whole top of the wings like, uh, what are you doing here? It is a very, very easy to fly platform uh, when you're doing air to ground missions. Obviously, if you want to drag this airplane up this high, uh, you're going to be struggling a little bit with uh, keeping this thing fast enough. So let's go ahead and get everybody started. The first thing I do is I make sure my master arm's on, make sure my laser's armed, press AG. So we're going to do two different bombing techniques. We're going to do what they call CCIP, which is going to give us a little dot, which tells us where to drop. And we're also going to go ahead and do what they call CCRP, which is we're going to designate a point, and then the bombs are going to drop when they hit that point. Well, one thing I like to do uh, when I'm getting ready for an air-to-ground strike is I actually like to come over here, and I like to change my little panel orientation here. Right now, again, I pressed AG to switch to this mode. So I come down to this one that says Test, I click it, and then I click it again. Then I come here and select TGP so that we actually have a little view of what our TGP is. And this is one of the real moments where we realize the F-16 is nice, but it's not perfect. And the reason for that, as you can see, is uh, it's very difficult to see, even when I zoom this in. Uh, for those of you who are huge fans of VR, uh, enjoy that. <laughs> So I'm going to go to CCRP mode here. I'm going to select my bombs. I've got six Mark 82s. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to come down here and do change it from pair, singles to pair. What we're going to do is we're going to drop three pair. So to do that, I'm going to come down to rip one, click here, three, enter. And now I'm going to do three bombs, 10 feet apart, and I'm going to drop it three times. So three times three is nine. Remember, we have 12. So I'll make sure you do your math carefully there, otherwise you're going to embarrass yourself like I just did there. Problem solved. So now we have two pair, two, which is going to be four. Ah, can't win, right? So we were right the first time. So now we have two pair, <laughs> two pair, three pair, three pair is going to be six. Got it. I did my math right the first time. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and define how big of an area between the individual bombs we want to drop. Ten feet. So uh, what's the magic number here? Well, let's see how big the bridge is. So we know the bridge that we're going to be hitting is going to be right here. We're going to quickly measure it. And we notice that the bridge is, it looks like uh, 0 0.041 nautical miles, which is uh, not very long. That's about 600 feet. Or actually, it's a lot less than that. Let me go do the math on that one real quick. The fact of the matter is, it doesn't need a 10-foot break. You're going to want to make this a little bit bigger. I'm going to click here. Oh, I'll knock this up to 75 feet to spread out my impact just a little tiny bit there. 75. Go down in here and press Enter. So now you'll drop three pairs, 75 feet apart, three times. But it's not three times. It's three Pairs, which is six bombs. Got it. <laughs> All right. So now what we need to do is we need to actually identify where the target is. Uh, this is where things can get a little bit tricky for us, as you can kind of see we're a bit up to the north here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and select my next steer point. Now notice when I change steer points, my TGP points at the steer point that I'm looking at. Isn't that handy? So now what I'm going to do is now, now that I've done that, I'm going to go ahead and activate this and make this my thing that I'm controlling. So to do that, uh, for those of you who are interested and missed it before, we're just going to press the display management switch down. So push it down. Now we have control. So now this is a pretty handy thing. I'm actually going to pause for a second here so you can see it. Tons and tons of modes. I'm not going to go extremely in detail here. The first thing we can do is uh, we can zoom in and out. Uh, the button you're looking for as far as zooming in and out is going to be this one right here, manual range knob. So we can zoom way in. The other thing you can do is you can actually press, if you really, really want to hurt your eyes, is you can press the expand FOV button to actually zoom in even more. So you can zoom in and then zoom out from zooming in. <laughs> right? So the other thing we have on here is we have the ability to go ahead and select, are we looking through the TV camera? Are we looking through uh, a flare, which is going to make anything that's hot white, or making anything that's hot black, or are we going to go ahead and switch back to TV? Now, one tip I always tell people, and I think people miss this a lot in these videos, is there's this button that says AGC. If you press that, you can actually manually adjust the gain. Now, you're sitting there going, I don't see any adjustments to the gain here. Now, if you come over here, you'll notice you have some awesome gain adjustments. So I actually recommend adjusting your picture drastically before you attempt to actually, you know, do any bombing here just to make it easier to see. In TV mode, obviously, you're at the mercy with whatever they set. So we'll switch that back to the AG mode. 
Now on the right side, you're gonna see a bunch of different switches and they all do different things. But right now, if I were to go ahead and start wiggling around uh, my little control here, by the way, if you're interested in which ones I'm pushing, that's gonna be your radar cursor controls, you can dial it any which way. And now I can actually point in different spots. Now, for example, uh, let's say we want to bomb that building as opposed to that bridge. I come down here and I put my crosshair right on it. Now, what you're gonna to wanna to do is you have to tell the computer that I'm interested in hitting this spot. Right now, it's giving you all the handy dandy stuff up here, but if you actually wanna do that, you're going to have to press your target management switch button. If I press that up, you see how it says point? Now it's locked onto that window. So now if I press it the other direction, it's going to kill the track. Now if I press it to the right, it's gonna do an area track, which is gonna lock onto that point in the ground. So you got uh, up is gonna be point, right is gonna be area. Now you're probably saying, what happens if you press it left? Ah, it's gonna change camera modes here. Again, pick the camera mode that makes most sense to you. But remember, our target of interest here is going to be this bridge. So when you're killing a bridge, uh, if you're using a laser guided bomb, usually what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to hit this part of the bridge so that you can, of course, destroy that and cause it to collapse on itself. Putting a hole through the deck with something that weighs, you know, 10,000 pounds, no, not 10,000, 1,000 pounds, isn't necessarily a good thing. It just gives you something you have to patch. It won't actually destroy the bridge. So where you hit it matters. But in our case, we're gonna lock right onto this. Now here's where you're going to run into your first challenge. Now the way this is set up is if I were to lock onto this with let's say a point track, it's going to lock onto this surface. If you do it with an area track, it's going to lock onto what it's pointing at, which is the ground behind the bridge. See how this starts to get tricky? So the nice thing for us is if you remember, we save that as a steer point. So if I wanted to, I can actually select steer point one, select steer point two, and whoosh, it's automatically locked right back onto the point that we want to go ahead and hit it with. In this case, I'm perfectly happy with that. So now if I take a look up at my heads up display, you'll notice we got all sorts of brand new stuff here. Let's go ahead and pause here. You'll notice I have this long line, this is the azimuth steering line for those of you who are big fans. And of course, um, that little line here tells us when it's time to release the bombs itself. So what we need to do is we need to fly our flight path vector onto this line. So what's gonna happen is if you actually look down here, we have a countdown timer to how long before off comes the bomb schemes. I'm actually gonna do throttle a little bit. I'm getting a little fast here, but it's perfectly fine. So we need to make sure this is beautifully centered right as this line crosses. So that's where this gets a little bit tricky. Now, if I look down at my little uh, guidance computer here, you're gonna notice that it's not pointing in the center of the bridge anymore, which is uh, no good for us. So what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna lock onto the pylon that's directly underneath it, and I'm gonna leave that in area track mode. Perfect. Go ahead and unpause here. Now I'm gonna, so, oh, not unpause, on the autopilot. <laughs> autopilot is your friend. I'm gonna roll to the left just a tiny bit, and I'm just gonna line myself up. We have 19 seconds. Now, one of the things I love about the F-16 is you can actually press and hold on the release button, and nothing comes off the wings until it drops. See how it's starting to make its way down towards the center? To the right, a little bit to the right, a little bit to the left, and this is gonna be a little off center. And when it flashes, stuff falls off the wing tips. Delightful. All right, let's see how we did. Remember when I said that I wanted three pairs? <laughs> you can't always get what you want, right? All right, let's see how we did here. Control shift F11 and bomb skis. Oh, what a mess. <laughs> so as you can see, uh, even with the most perfect computer, 36,000 feet, it's a bit of a project to hit something, which is why we'll take a look at the next marketing mode, which is probably gonna be a little bit better for this application, unless we have an LGB, but that's for me. All right, now we've gotten everything reset. Let's uh, go ahead and walk through it again. Here to ground mode. Uh, this time we're gonna just pepper the whole thing with 12 singles. One, two. Press enter. 12 singles looks good. We'll make them uh, 25 feet apart, so it's pretty safe. And now we're good to go. The only thing different this time is I'm gonna switch this from CCRP, which calculates for us, to CCIP, where we're gonna do all the work ourselves. This is gonna be a little bit different of an approach, but I'm not panicking about it too, too much here. I'm gonna go ahead and build up plenty of energy and plenty of speed here. You can see I'm ripping the burner, basically a full blast here, desperately trying to make my way towards the target zone. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn into a nice little dive. We're gonna be looking at the end of this long line. You're gonna see this little circle with a dot on it. Now, one thing that I recommend people do is um, go like this, and that way you can actually see what you're aiming at. Now, the way the F-16 does this is super clever. If this line is visible, that means anything we put the dot on is going to be bombed if we hold down and fly to that position. If the line disappears, that means when you press the button, the bombs will actually come off the rack at that specific time. I'm just gonna kind of come ripping along here. We'll go ahead and cheat just a teeny tiny bit, get us a little bit closer. So you can see we're about two minutes and 30 seconds to the target. This is why they're so, so, so accurate. And we'll stop at about a minute, looks pretty good. All right, 
So now I'm gonna go ahead and kill all of our autopilot modes here. Heading select, altitude hold, and we're gonna go ahead and uh, roll ourselves down. Whee! Oh, there goes my lunch. And there is our bridge. All right, generally when you're bombing bridges, uh, you don't bomb them at angles like this, uh, because if you do so, it just takes one little tiny miss. You generally want to be coming from that angle and kind of go across the bridge with an unguided weapon, but hey, we're working with what we got here. Zoom in a little bit, make it a little bit easier to see what's going on. Out comes the speed brakes. All right, so here's how this works. We can either put the circle on the bridge and then hold down the trigger and then basically fly down, or we can simply wait for the line to disappear, in which case when I release the uh, hold down the button, the bombs will release at the time. Make sure you press and hold. By the way, my speed brakes are out and we're still doing Mach 94 here. All right, there's a bridge, come to the right just a little bit. See how the line's gone? That means when I click the trigger, the bombs come off. Press it nice and early. Because we want to give it plenty of time to go ahead and drop. Oh, that doesn't feel good. Let's see how we did this time. Oh my gosh, the G's. Feel the G's. All right, see how we did. Oh, that did it. <laughs> not bad, not bad at all. Everybody always looks to look over their shoulders and see how they did. A minus, A minus. <laughs> not bad, we should release just a little longer, but the bridge looks like it's on fire and we're good to go. So those are it for the uh, two different bombing modes that are for uh, basically your unguided weapons. Now, they both have their advantages. Obviously CCRP means you can do silly things like mark a target and then come rushing over to it and wreck it later on. Yeah, the bridge is on fire. I don't think I destroyed it though. You need something a lot bigger to kill a bridge. Yeah, looks pretty good though. Hopefully this helps you as far as uh, kind of understanding how that method works. Obviously use the method that makes most sense for the particular situation. For this one, obviously I had plenty of altitude. Nobody was shooting up at me. So I had uh, plenty of leisurely time that I could just drop. Yeah, that thing is looking pretty nasty right now so i'm pretty proud of that one and of course obviously i uh, make sure you pick the right weapon make sure you set your weapons up correctly and when you're done all that fun you just bop that button you're good to go all right on our next video we're going to take a look at a slightly different type of weapon it's going to be a laser guided bomb enjoy